All right, we're here again with Ben Pakolsky. We're working on intraset stretching. I've got Melissa over here, and we're now moving on to hamstrings. Ben, tell me, what are we doing? We are doing intraset stretching. What is intraset stretching? We are taking a muscle to its fully lengthened position under load, under tension, and we're going to stay there. What's that going to be doing? It's going to be creating a tremendous amount of intramuscular tension or stress, if I can get my tongue. <laughs> right, right. Um, so we're going to take Melissa, but it's really, really important when you guys do this stuff that your setup is right and your positioning is right in these exercises because anytime you take a muscle to its lengthened or its shortened position, they're very, very vulnerable because they're very, very weak. So every time you're doing it, make sure your setup is perfect. So pay particular attention to the cues we have here with Melissa. I've never done this with her, so we're going to walk through it from the beginning. So before we even grab weight, Melissa, I want you to set up like you're doing a stiff-legged deadlift. So was a stiff-legged deadlift the best exercise for, for hamstrings? Because it's the most lengthened opportunity to train your hamstrings. So show me how you would do that. And so before you even move, here's what I want you to do. I want you to imagine you have those dumbbells in your hands, and I want you to forget you have those dumbbells in your hands. I want you to take this hip joint, and I want you to take it as far away from your heel as you can. So the greater we can increase the distance from the, from the contact point, the distance from the axis of, of motion, the greater that muscle has to work. So all I want you to do is think about taking this hip joint as far back as you can. Go ahead and do that. Stop. And now load your heels. Try your heels on the ground, and do not bend over. I want you to take your hips back. Hips back to the wall. Back to the wall. Stop. Good. Now load those heels. Drive your heels to the ground. Take your hips back. Ba uh -uh. Don't bend over. Take them back. Back, 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 back. Good. Right there. See where you're starting to go off balance? That's your range right there. So that's as far as Melissa can physically go at her hips. If she were to go any further, Doug, oh. come around the side. <laughs> come around the side. Watch what happens if she goes any further down. Where does the motion come from? Comes from here. So this is not what we're trying to work. We're trying to work this. So all her, all her cue is, is drive your hips back. And it takes some getting used to, it takes some balance. But all I want you to do is, we'll do it in about three or four steps. So all you can do is start here, hips back, stop, hips back, stop, hip back, stop, hips back, stop. And as far as you can go, that's all you got. So show me what you got. So the biggest cues here, I want you to aggressively drive your heels into the ground. Good, so find the heels, root them into the ground. Take, about, take that hip joint back. Good, then stop. A little further back. Good. A little further back. Good. Try to touch your bum on the wall behind you. A little further back. Got any more in there? Okay, that's it right there. That's all she got. So now before you move up, I want you to drive your heels aggressively into the ground like you're trying to squash something, and now you engage your glutes and pull back up to the top. So reverse that motion. Yes. Good. And we don't want to stack the joints, so I want you to stop there. That's it. It feels like a pretty small range, but you'll feel it. Go ahead, do keep going. So let's go with a continuous motion now with that exact same tempo. So no motion at your spine, and that's all you got right there. Drive into the floor, contract those glutes, and pull up. Good. So if Melissa wants to, this is the exact same exercise for hamstrings and glutes. If she wants to emphasize more hamstring stretch, she keeps her knees locked or bent, or, or very, very slightly bent. If she wants to emphasize more glute, she's going to have her knees relatively substantially bent. So this is a hamstring emphasis. Are you getting a stretch in your hamstrings there? Perfect. So it's really the difference of us doing like a stiff legged dead, deadlift versus like a conventional deadlift. Yep. Drive those heels into the ground. Good. Is that five? Six? Go one more. <laughs> is she going to, now when she holds this stretch, is yep. it at the bottom or is it at the top? Yep, so you're going to hold that stretch at the bottom. And all I want you to think about this is driving those heels into the ground as hard as you can while you stretch. And try to relax your breathing there. So try to breathe calmly through your nose. Good. No, she, she's so, keeping a nice neutral spine yep, too with her head, shoulders, moving hips. here. Good. So drive those heels into the ground. And if you feel like you can go further, so what's going to happen, guys, is as you drive those heels into the ground and you push that stretch and that length of position, you might actually be able to go further. So you got to be conscious of making sure that you're just trying to increase the stretch. You're not trying to physically get further down. Further down doesn't win. We don't have a destination goal. We have an increased stretch goal. So if you increase that stretch at all, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make it as hard as possible for ourselves, not easy. Good. Now hold it for 20 to 30 seconds. Come back up. Slowly come back up. Drive the heels, drive the heels, drive the heels. Good. Hips back. Go again. Six. Good. Now, would there ever be a time where you would cue somebody to drop the weight right here? Like, Because I could imagine if I was doing this, and maybe I didn't gauge my weight very well. It was too heavy? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So normally we would do this with four separate weights. We actually start relatively heavy and progressively decrease. So one thing I'm seeing that I want you to keep going, go down, it's perfect. Now I don't want you to think about driving the hips forward as much as I want you to think about rotating the pelvis under. 
So something like driving heels down, drive your, that was perfect, drive your bum down. Yes, if you guys see that, you can actually see the difference in contraction. Right, this is a hard so she's, to see. Yeah, so she's thinking about uh, pelvic tilt. She's thinking about a posterior pelvic tilt. You can watch your glutes and hamstrings contract. So the most important thing in exercise, guys, is making sure the muscle you're trying to work contracts first. So if she's getting that position in correct, she's got the setup correct, come all the way to the bottom, stop. I want you to find the contraction in your hamstrings, drive into the floor, find it, and pull through that. Yes, and you can see the contraction in the glute and the hamstrings. Let's go one more stretch. And here I want you to close your eyes and feel the stretch. So you found your balance now, which may make it even more difficult. But I want you to feel that stretch and see if you can increase it and breathe through your nose. Good. Good. We're going to increase that stretch as much as possible. So it's not a destination, it's a stretch. Awesome. Good, now don't move. I want you to drive your heels as hard as you can into the floor, contract your hamstrings, and pull back up. Yes. Amazing. Good, so we're creating a massive amount of intramuscular tension. How'd it feel? Give them some feedback. Oh, God. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. So what we're doing, guys, is we're creating mindful focus and mindful attention and massive amounts of intramuscular stress and tension. Awesome. Listen, if you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe, like the video, share it. Also, if you want more information on Ben's program, click the link in the top right-hand corner.